Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I have finished my uh, forest floor is what I'm calling this journal. And I've added many layers and textures and I just wanted to uh, let you see the full yumminess of this. I have everything from, this is gravel from my driveway. This tree is birch bark from my yard, uh, some Spanish moss. We have, uh, I've, I've added um, glossy accents on here, so you can see a million different fibers. So this is the front, and let's get inside it. In here, the same. I have a little mouse that I decided needed to live in this underground nest. So there's a little mouse in there. He kind of looks more like a rabbit, but hey, it's okay. I know he's a mouse. And um, we have some birds up here. I added glossy accents to the tree to make it stand out. And over here, I have um, many fibers, laces, trims, you name it. Uh, I left everything on there. Um, there's a field label in there. That's from uh, Tim Holtz, some Tim Holtz fabric. There is just... Now, I don't know the kits that most of these came from. In here, there is just... There's an envelope and all it has is just a little piece of paper in it. Um, this was a freebie, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I sewed around the edge. <clears throat> Pardon my voice. Um, I sewed around the edge of this and added a tea bag and fibers here, lots of fibers up here. I had this stuff forever. It's like dried up baby's breath. On the back, I use this stamp over and over again. I love it. It looks like a forest floor. So that is um, one of the stamps. I did put some, you know, wherever I could put fibers, I, I did stick them wherever I could. In here, uh, I had, I made this so long ago. I had stamped this on this fabric and then I made this, someone had given me this uh, digital print. It says if it doesn't open, it's not your door. That's kind of a good thing to live by, huh? If you don't feel like you uh, got the door open, it's not uh, it's not your door. So that's a fabric there. Over here, now originally what I had done on this was I had just sewed down some fibers and left it on there. And then... I thought, well, there needs to be something up here in the corner. So I added several fibers hanging off, put the yo-yo, old fashioned button on the yo-yo. And this had a big knot, you know how sometimes they tie it together. And so I ended up just throwing that in there. Um, this little guy's up here in the corner hiding. Now this is, I got glossy accents on the owl here. You can kind of see, there we go. And uh, this is a little hidden secret spot here to journal on. And lots of fibers on the back of that as well. And so I have that tucked away in there nicely. So you can't, it like overlaps, so you can't even tell it's there. And then on this page, this was flopping open. So I did go ahead and put a clip on this. And I just, but this is netting. We all have netting and don't know what to do with it. I added some of the raffia and rocks and fibers down here. That flips up, so it kind of mutes this just a little bit. And then under that, it says sky above me, and it has um, a fence, and I did um, add some flowers here. So just lots of fibers on that. And over here, I believe that's one of the Tim Holtz. Um, could be wrong, uh, but um, the acorn... They're called blueprints when they have all this stuff on it. It says seedling. This is some piano paper that was given to me as a gift. I had so many different fabrics that I uh, just utilized all the different fabrics. I put some of the netting behind here as well. On this page, we have more fibers. It says live your dream out loud up here. And this was like a shear that had this beautiful um, greenery that I absolutely loved. I love this fabric. I covered it up over here, so I decided to not cover it up as much there. So that lays on top of that. 
my friend gave me this beautiful, um, oh, <laughs> jelly plated, that's what it is, box. And uh, if you can see, I used some trim here, but underneath to c get the fence, I used netting. And I saw a lady had done that. These mushrooms here, we don't see those around in our area, but they're a little bit different. This is just a real slide that I had taken the picture out and replaced it. Underneath it is just a piece of fiber. There's a little raccoon underneath there. That just kind of made the dark um, darkness of that kind of lit it up a little bit. Lots of fibers here, sari silk, um, some trim underneath it from a some kind of a trim. Oh, I don't know what it was from. I think a curtain maybe. And here, this is kind of a bright page, but I didn't know what to do with it. So this is what happened. It says, which way you go depends on where you want to be. And I just added flowers. I had sewed this down and I thought, well, now what do I do? So there you go. This is my favorite page here. First of all, there is an, on the back here, there is a safety pin. And so I did add a charm to the back side of that. Now, I saw this, and I can't remember where I saw it at, but I loved the idea. It was absolutely a gorgeous idea. There's a little charm on there, a little mushroom charm. This little chipmunk guy, he comes out, and he is a writing spot. And this is layered up, so there is also, um, I added a time card, Earth Below Me, here. And I saw somebody had done this, and I thought, what a cool idea. Makes it look like it's a, you know, like a clipboard kind of look to it. And I just put, uh, this is alcohol ink dyed, some different, you know, fibers and I mean, you name it. Some papers underneath that tucks in nicely there. And then this little guy scoots back in there. So he's hiding underneath the mushroom. So that is indeed my favorite of all the pages that I have done here. Now this here, I added some glossy accents. You can see the glossy accents on the mushrooms. I also did many different layers of fibers here. Now this is what we call a tip in. So it's, you have the plain page and then you've decided to add something on top of it. So you have, uh, you know, you, oh, the word escapes me, I'm sorry. But where you, you tip it in, you give it a, a binding so it comes in. So, that is a tip-in. This is a tip-in as well. And this was some of my fabric that I had acrylic dyed in the sun. So, I had um, painted leaves and let it dry in the sun, and that's the way it looked. This says nature. It's a description of nature. This says belief in nature. And um, just bare... I sewed around in crazy stitching here. I had dyed, rust dyed some fabrics here. And this over here is pretty cute. Well, we had some of the big mushrooms from one of the digital kits. This is Tim Holt stuff, digital kit. This is a piece of fabric. Uh, this little trick here is some waterproof tape. You put it on book page and peel it off real quick. This says be authentic. Now, I made a little clipboard here looking thing with a little pad of paper underneath. So, you know, it's got a few pages in here. And that is on a rusted um, paper clip. So, little writing spot back here. So, that tucks away in this little spot on the edge here. And over on this side, we have, I have the netting kind of layered out here just laying and there's so many layers to this right here let me get it up here so you can see I have the doily I have the leaf trim uh, fibers and you just name it it's on here eyelash trims of two different colors there is some uh, trees I sewed in there made a little pocket here out of the piece of fabric so this pocket here i sewed around this and didn't do anything to that except stamp the back of it with that wonderful stamp i have and then up here i got these little minimum mini vellum pieces 
and so it had mushrooms on it so i sewed it in and just made a pretty simple tag that's some washi paper washi tape not paper um but with all of this out that's what it looks like just trying to not have any empty spots i want to have it just it's full of goodness i just love having so much in this it just makes it um, like eye candy for yourself over here more fibers layered up on the edge uh, this is a, a copy of a digital I made a digital of one of the covers that I made and I loved it so much and I cut off half of it we have the gravel and rocks again and here this is a digital kit that um, someone gifted me a piece you know just a tag and I made it into this little you know clipboard like thing and that's a dragonfly charm up there. We have mushrooms. This was part of a digital piece that somebody gave me. Somebody gave me this digital. <laughs> I get lots of stuff given to me. And I just uh, love putting it all together. So over here on this side, I made this into a vellum piece. And then I have some fibers. And this piece comes out, and I did glossy accents as well on this. Just adds so much to the, the look of this. That was just a piece of scrapbooking paper there. Another tip in with a hinge. That's the word I was looking for, y'all. Hinge. So this is a, out of a, a tracks book. I've signed this. And this is a little fabric flip just with a button leaf. I like this little fox hanging out of here. Now, this is a computer um, card, and I layered it with this fox, which happens to be a napkin, decoupaged on top of it, added some stuff up here. This was a die cut that I had. I thought that was just kind of cute. Layered up some, you know, like a dirty spot that where people would have been sitting there. And the back of that's nice and yummy. This says, imagination is more important than knowledge, for while knowledge defines all we currently know and understand, imagination leads us to all we might yet discover and create. Friend gave me that as well. So that little fox is peeking over there. Another secret hidden spot here. I've got mushrooms. It's a piece of ephemera that I've just dolled up. I hand sewed around the edges. I decoupage napkin over... Uh, I think a dictionary page there that hides back in there. It says a walk in nature. You flip it up. There's a little squirrel piece of ephemera there. This came from a calendar, and uh, that's from the kit. So lots of yumminess. Let me give you a close-up of this here so you can get all of the goodness. I used a silk leaf um, down here. It's just lots of the fibers and the layering. If you would like to join me in my Facebook uh, group. It is also called JJ with Joy. I'm on Etsy at JJ with Joy. I do plan on keeping this journal myself, but um, it's called the Forest Floor. I hand drew a little tag to go in the back, and this is a one of those old seed feed sacks. So that's it for me, guys. I thank you for joining me. Remember, your day is full of choices, so choose joy. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.